Hello students, how are you all? Hope you all are fit and fine and completed your homework. Correct? Okay. Students, so let's continue our chapter that is chapter number 8, time. And in your maths textbook, it is on page number 143. Students, I already taught you what is quarter past, what is half past. Correct? Quarter past means what? If the minute hand is at 3, so it shows 15 minutes, it is called quarter past. And when the minute hand is at number 6, it shows 30 minutes and it is called half past. Correct? And how to read the hour hand? The hour hand is read by the number it crossed. Correct? Okay. Now today, I will teach you quarter 2. Quarter 2, it means if when the minute hand is at number 9. Is at number 9. So, it shows how many minutes? 9 fives are 45. So, it shows 45 minutes and it is called quarter 2. Okay. Now, see quarter 2. See the spelling Q-U-A-R-T-E-R. -E quarter 2. T O Two. It is not T W O two. It is T O two. Okay. Now, if the minute hand is at nine, it shows forty five minutes, and it is called quarter two. Okay. Now, quarter two format because the minute hand complete. You know now how to read the minutes hand. Now, in our hand. Now, in quarter to format, the R hand is the R hand is read as usual. It means in the hours and in the hours and minutes format. Means when we separated hours and minutes by the by the two dots, that time the R hand is read as usual. Means the number which num the number it crossed. Okay, so in the R and R. 2 dot minute format, the R hand is read by the bigger number it crossed. Okay? Normally, the R and minute is read. But, when we will write quarter to 1 or quarter to 2, that time the R hand is read by the number, by the number, not it crossed, not it crossed, by the bigger number it reach. It reach. For example, first I'll show you. See, for example, if this R hand, it is in between 2 and 3. Okay? It means it crossed number 2 and it reached to the number 3. Okay? It is at in between number 2 and 3 and the minute hand is at number 9. So, when we will write the time, that time in R and minute format, we will write 2 hours 45 minutes. Okay. As usual because it crossed bigger. It crossed number 2. So we will write 2 hours 45 minutes. Correct. 45 minutes. But instead of 45 minutes. When we will write quarter 2. That time we will not write quarter 2 2. That time we will write quarter 2 3. Because the R hand is reach number 3. Understood? So, in the quarter 2 format, the R hand is read by the number marking, the by the bigger marking, the hand is reach. Okay? The hand is reach. Now, now in this example, I told you, now in this example, uh, 2 and 3. In this example, it crossed number 2. Hence, we write 2 hours 45 minutes, right? 2 hours 45 minutes. But it almost reach which bigger number? Number 3. So in quarter 2 format, what we will do? What we will write? Quarter 2, 3. Okay? We will read also same. That is quarter 2, 3. Okay? For example, see in this clock and given clock, the minute hand is at number 9 but the R hand 
has crossed number 1 and it reached number 2. It almost reached number 2. So, in the given clock, the minute hand is at 9. 9, it means how many minutes? 45 minutes. So, 9 fives are 45 minutes. And the hour hand has crossed number 1 and it reach it it is about to reach number 2 correct so it is 1 hour 45 minutes and in quarter to format we will write all quarter to 2 because it almost reach number 2 so it is quarter to 2 understood okay Look at another example. One more example we will take. Look at another example. See this clock. First concentrate on minute. A hand first see minute hand is at 9. It means it is quarter to. Okay. Now concentrate on the R hand. So the R hand is. The R hand has crossed number 4. And it it is about to reach number 5. Correct. So, it is 4 hours 45 minutes and for whenever we will write quarter to and quarter to format, it is quarter to 5 because it is reach about the 5. It is almost 5, right? So, in the given clock, the minute hand is at 9. So, it is 9 fives are 45. So, it is 45 minutes and the our hand has crossed number 4 and it is about to reach number 5. So, the time is 4 hours 45 minutes or quarter to 5. Understood? Got it? Okay. Now, next is open your maths textbook. Page number 147. Done? Okay. Write today's date. 16 December 2020. Student, this is the last part of a clock. Okay? Means how to read the clock. This one is the last part. Okay? Now clear all these things. What is a quarter past? What is a half past? What is quarter to? How to read the hour hand? How to write the hours and minutes? And how to read the minutes hand? Okay. What is the bigger marking? What is the bigger hand shows? What is the smaller hand shows? Everything make it clear. Okay. If you clear all these things, it means you know the clock very well. And I know you all are very good students. So you are concentrately, you are concentrating very clear. Okay. So write the time shown by the clocks. Question number five. Write the time shown by the clocks. See, solve B1. A1 is your homework. Okay. Solve B1. See here, now first you will concentrate on the minute and hour hand, correct? Now in this clock minute hand is at number 9. And it means it clears, it is 45 minutes and 45 minutes it means it is quarter to, correct? Okay, now the hour hand, it crossed number 5 and it is about to reach number 6. Correct? It is about to reach number 6. So, in the hours and the minute format, we will write as usual. So, it is 5 hours 45 minutes. But in quarter to format, we will write, we will write quarter to 6. Quarter to 6 because it is about to reach number 6. Okay? So, write 5 hours 45 minutes. And in quarter to format, it is quarter to 6 because it is about to reach number 6. Done? Okay. Now C1. Again, 
the minute hand is at number 9. It means 45 minutes. It means quarter to. Clear? Now, the hour hand has crossed number 10. It means 10 hours, 45 minutes and it is about to reach 11. So, it is quarter to 11. Clear? It is very easy. Don't confused. Okay? So, it is 10 hours, 45 minutes and it is quarter to 11. Okay? Okay. Next one, that is D. See this clock. Now, minute hand is at number 9. It means 45 minutes and 45 minutes means quarter to. Clear? Okay. When it is quarter to, then we will see uh, the number it crossed and the number it reached. Okay. So, the R hand, look at the R hand. Look, R hand has crossed number 6. So, it is 6 hours, 45 minutes and it is about to reach 7. So, it is quarter to 7. Yes? Yes. So, right. 6 hours, 45 minutes and quarter to 7. Now, next, F, concentrate, minute and the hour hand. The minute hand is at number 9. It means 45 minutes. It means quarter to. Clear? Now, see hour hand. Hour hand has crossed number 7. So, it is 7 hours, 45 minutes. Very good. So, first right, 7 hours, 45 minutes. And in quarter to format, it is about to reach number 8. So, it is quarter to 8. So, right, quarter to 8. Done? Okay. Now, next, draw hands on the clocks to show the time. Now, we have to draw the hands. As usual, first we will draw our hand and then we will draw the minute hand. Our hand, it means smaller hand and the minute hand, it means bigger hand. Now see, first example here, 6.45 means 6 hours, 45 minutes. And here you have to write the time also, okay? 6 hours, 45 minutes, it means it almost reached to number 7. Correct? So it will come quarter to 7. First, we will see the time. First, we will draw the hands. Okay. So, first we will draw our hand. So, our hand we will draw 6 hours 45 minutes. Means it crossed number 6 and it is reach about number 7. So, we will draw this in between 6 and 7. That is the small r, small hand. As it is in between 6 and 7. And the minute hand is at number 9 because it is 45 minutes. So, the minute hand is at number 9. It means 45 minutes. So, it is 6 hours 45 minutes and quarter to 7. So, right? Quarter to 7. Done? Now, next. Here, quarter to 8. Quarter to it means what? 45 minutes. So, 45 minutes it means what you will write? Quarter to 8, it means it is reach, it is about to reach 8. So, it is 7 hours 45 minutes because it is about to reach 8 but it crossed number 7. It crossed number 7. So, it is 7 hours 45 minutes, correct? So, the hour hand we will draw in between number 7 and 8. See, number 7 and 8 and the bigger, that is the minute hand, we will draw at number 9. Okay, so it is 7.45. That is 7 hours, 45 minutes. Done? Okay, now write your homework. In question number 5. Clock A and E is your homework and in question number 6, clock B is your homework. Now, once again, we will revise what is clock. 
okay because it is the last video for the clock and in new in next video we will learn something new and something different okay so this is a clock as you know this is a clock correct okay and total markings how many 60 markings on a clock face two hands one face the smaller hand is the hour hand the bigger hand is the minute hand correct the bigger marking shows hour markings and the smaller markings in between two bigger marking it is minutes marking and total there are 60 60 markings on a clock face and shows 60 minutes because each marking shows one minutes clear this the minute hand is a faster than the hour hand right now next one is if the minute hand is at number three it shows 15 minutes so it is quarter past if the minute hand is at number six it shows 30 minutes it means it is half past and if the minute hand is at number nine it shows 45 minutes it means it is quarter two okay now now how to read the hour hand our hand is read when it crossed bigger number or it almost reach another number or it is on that number only but on the bigger number only correct so it is the hour marking this one is the minute marking two hands everything is clear in a clock correct this is a clock now do practice at your home complete your homework and clear everything. It is very easy to understand the clock.